Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Project Hospital where the radiology department is finally complete and there it is in all of its wonderful radiological glory and it did take us a while to get it sorted, we have had to wait quite a long time to finish this entire department off and also it did take quite a lot of money as well, these big expensive machines are not cheap at all, I mean those two were really expensive. I think the x-ray machine was relatively expensive. That thing there, the CAG machine, that was also quite costly. So all of these machines are really, really expensive. So it's quite a costly department to get up and running. But I think overall it's going to help out quite a bit. And also we have made sure that we've got a full staff complement on the day shift and a full staff complement on the night shift as well. So if anybody needs anything radiological at any time of the day, they can come here and get it, which is all very wonderful indeed. So there we go. That's all complete. So right now, we are trying to get this objective here sorted out. Perform 10 surgeries. We're on eight right now, so we can get that done relatively soon, I'd like to think. And that will give us another four patients per day coming into the clinic. So that'll get it from 21 up to 25 patients per day. So overall, that will get us up to 83 patients coming in potentially throughout the entire day. And then I think we try and treat 80 patients per day because we'll have 83 potentially coming through the doors. And then we complete that goal there for the uninsured insurance company. And they will give us $50,000, which would be very wonderful indeed. So I think let's get time ticking on right now. And let's see if we can get two more surgeries done. I mean, there's definitely something going on over here because there are doctors around a person and there is some blood. I expect Danny Yuri to come in and just kind of mop up any second now. So hang on, can we see what's going on? So uh, hello, how are you? Charles Hernandez. So Charles Hernandez is in for a knee dislocation. It sounds very, very unpleasant, but here we go. So that is gonna be another surgery. That's gonna be another one complete. And I imagine there's quite a few people over here in the mess that is our ward over here in orthopedics. Actually, hang on a second. Hang on. Can we move any of this round? Can we readjust any of this? Uh, hang on a second. Let's go to, uh, let's go to furniture and all that kind of stuff. Ah, here we go. Right, so we might be able to rejig these four around. Um, and yes, there is a bit of wall there. Somebody in the comments did point that out. Yeah, there's a bit of wall sort of randomly attached to the back of that thing. We need to sort that out. Hang on, hang on. Let us remove that wall. There we go, wonderful. Right, okay, so I think we try and move these beds around. Let's try and reshuffle things, shall we? So I think we might have to park things over there for now. So move everything out of the way, clear this bit down here, and then we can just have a row of beds across the back wall here, and then maybe another row of beds in the middle. I mean, it's not ideal, but I think it will do the job. I mean, maybe, maybe behind the row of beds in the middle, we put little walls, so they're kind of, you know, at least vaguely kind of private. I don't know. Or do we have some beds? We push that together, so push them a bit closer to so have a bed and a bed, and then maybe put a little kind of, a little a tiny privacy wall in, and then have another bed there, Although the doors are in the way. Although we could have one central set of doors now, eventually, if it comes to that, when we move these beds out of the way. So we have four beds like that, or maybe three or four possibly. I'd like to think we could get four across there. At least three beds there, and then three facing. And then we could have the same kind of thing here, so three and three. Or do we just have a big row of beds across the back, and then a couple of beds. We could get three beds across that bit there, and then a bed across the side and a bed across the side. But then we have a lot of empty space in the middle. And no one's going to want to be in the beds in the middle because that's a little bit weird, isn't it? Because everyone is looking at you. That's slightly strange. Um, so, okay, maybe then, maybe we try and move these around. So hang on. I want to get the move one, not the copy one. So let's try and move that to there, like that. And then can we pick that up and then rotate that round and pop that there? Okay, now they're going to be, it's going to get a bit fussy with those in, so move them out of the way. There we go, a lovely corridor full of, full of um, <laughs> cupboardy drawer cabinet things. Okay, so like that, and then go back to here. So move, oh crikey, hang on a minute, I can't work out where that is from that angle. Um, move that, but not the win, I don't want the window. Can I not have the window, please? <laughs> hang on, what we'll do is bail out of that, forget that. Right, grab that like that, and then we'll bring the bedside table over in a second, because <laughs> that's a bit daft, isn't it? So then, 
if we say put that, I mean, how far apart do they need to be? If we want to get, I think that's sort of feasible, isn't it? And then we'd have them backing on like that. And the other beds would be like that. And the other beds could sort of be across there. Yes, that's that's fine, isn't it? So hang on. So have them not quite next to each other. Not one gap. Not two gaps, but maybe a gap like that. So bring that thing over like that. Okay, there we go. Hang on. Have they got... Oh, but they haven't got the machine. Hang on. They've got... Oh, of course. Hang on. They've got a fancy machine because they were... That bed was once in high dependency but it's not anymore um okay the only thing is yeah they're going to lack they're going to lack one of the sort of plug thingamajigs do they need one of those uh hang on a second hang on do they need one of those i don't know if it's an important thing a bed socket a bed socket can be attached to a hospital bed um but i mean yeah where where can it be attached to a hospital bed hang on rotate that round again i think it has to go on the wall doesn't it it has to go on a wall so it's not going to work like that unless we do just put a wall in the middle and then split it into sort of two independent wards. That might help. I mean, not two independent wards, but one big ward, but with a wall down the middle and a little kind of you know, path going across that top bit there. Maybe that would work. Hang on. Hang on. Although we can't do that right now because we need to move those beds around as well. Okay, well, there we go. That'll do for the moment. That'll do for now. Uh, hopefully, we can try and resolve that later. But maybe that is the way we go. Just so I don't forget, because I inevitably will. Hang on. Let's grab a wall like that. And we'll just kind of draw it up to... So there. Now, ideally, we'd put the wall, say, up to here, maybe. And then that's kind of 50-50, is it? But yeah, I don't think it's quite... Is that exactly 50-50? How many are on this side? So that's 8 by 1, and that's 7 by 1. Okay, so it can't be exactly divided in half, but yeah, this side's going to be a tiny bit bigger, but that's okay. I think maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. Or we just have two independent wards, because you could do that. That'd be fine. doesn't really matter too much, I don't think, but I think we'll have a dividing wall and then just try and move things around. But okay, right, that's fine. Can't do much about it now, but they do look a bit better now they've been rejigged ever so slightly. So that's quite nice, I suppose. Here comes somebody else hobbling back to bed. It's Lisa Rallen. Hello, Lisa Rallen. How are you? Um, what's the money looking like? Uh, sort of lunchtime on day 27, coming up to 30 grand. That's not too bad at all. That is not too bad. How is the operation going over here? Um, okay. So the patient is just sort of lying in a in, in a I was gonna say a heap, not in a heap, but just lying down on there, on the sort of you know whatever is the uh, operating lounge bed, with nobody really paying any attention. Oh, there we go. At least you've come over to have a look. Um, Stacy Sue is waiting with the patient. So that's quite nice to see. And then we have Gregory Groder doing his spot of cleaning. Not Danny Yuri this time, but that's okay. At least somebody's cleaning up. Right, okay. Move time on nice and quick. Can we please move this patient back to a bed? There we go. Wonderful. And actually, hang on a second. Hang on. Whilst we're here looking at this, and there we go, nine out of ten surgeries. Whilst we are looking at this, it was pointed out in the comments that we do not have, I don't think, a night shift working on this. So hang on. Orthopedics. Um, yeah, going over to here. Hang on. We don't necessarily have a full night shift to cover this in terms of operations. So in the daytime, we can do operations, but at nighttime, I don't think we can. Now, is that correct? How do we work that out? So we've got, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is where you have to try and work out what we need. So hang on, what do we need to do? Yeah, night staff, we've got sufficient doctors. So I think in the night, we'd need an, anest this is a word I can't say, an anesthesiologist. So we need somebody to do anaesthetics in the night time. And then we'd also need a surgeon as well. We've got doctors. So we need a surgeon, an anaesthesiologist, and maybe even a surgery nurse. That would be quite helpful. So maybe, maybe we do get ourselves an extra person employed at night time. That could help quite a bit. Um, or do we move one of these people over? Say so Liam the Blue. Lee in the blue could be on the night shift over here, look, in the regular doctor office. Because Lee in the blue uh, is a specialist in orthopedics, that's good, but you're general medicine and diagnosis. 
So you're more of a kind of a GP, like a doctor. So I think what we do is, now we've looked at that, let's put Liam the Blue over there into night shift in one of the sort of regular, what is that? Um, like a, uh, hang on, it's over here. An, an orthopedics office. So just, you know, like a specialist treatment office for orthopedics. And then over here, we employ an anaesthetics person. So let's go to here. So who do we have? And of course, it does mean another spin on the wheel of names, which is exciting. Um, okay, so the two good people who are quite good at anaesthetics, they live far away. They live quite far away. So yeah, we've got you 38%, but you do live some distance away. And you're 31%, you live some distance away. And also you're hiding three secrets from us, which could be terrible secrets. So maybe, maybe, I mean, do we re-roll that? For two and a half, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. It'd be lovely if we could build some room, like, a, I don't know, like a press room or a PR room or something to bring that cost down. Because it's so much money, but I think we have to do that. So let's kind of re-roll that, shall we? So, okay. I mean, we haven't come out too much better with that, unfortunately. Um, so 11%. Um, you've got clean feet, but you live far away. 39% actually is not too bad at all. Um, you're a gamer, so resting is much faster, but you do have a deep, dark secret. You've only got 10%, um, but your rest levels decrease slower. And you are fast, and you have clean feet, and you have no secrets, but also your anesthetics is not actually that good. It's only at 9%. Um, yeah, see, there's a line there which says, we kind of want somebody that's half decent to this, because it says, decreases death probability in collapsed patients. Yeah, we don't really want that kind of stuff. So how about we spend another thousand of our money to figure out what Susan King's big secret is? Please don't be something terrible. It's a germaphobe. Washes hands three times just to be sure. I mean, that's okay. Yeah, you're in a hospital. That's a good thing. Want to go and be clean. But um, yeah, that does mean you are going to spend a lot of time washing your hands and not getting on with your job. Although, although maybe that's not so bad over here in this part of the world because there are many sinks. So you can wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, and then get back over here. Maybe that's not so bad. And I imagine at night we're not going to be doing loads of stuff. So maybe that's what we do. Maybe we go, uh, there we go, anesthesiologist. Let's get you. Let's get Susan King. Okay, so Susan King comes in. So now we have a nighttime, uh, hang on, where is it? Uh, are we in the right thing? Yeah, so a nighttime anesthetics person like that. Surgeons, though, it says required day. Do we not? Then maybe they don't do nighttime stuff. Maybe they don't, do, don't work at nighttime. Because it's surgeons, staff night, zero out of zero. Maybe they don't do that. Maybe that's a thing that doesn't happen. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, surgery nurse, a nurse specialised in medical surgery, required day two. Or maybe because we now do have the staff required at night. Oh, no, we haven't got a surgeon at night time. We don't have a nighttime surgeon. Oh, that's a bit bad, isn't it? Hang on. So you are... Um, hang on. How do we find out... Well, you're not a surgeon. Oh, you're anaesthetics. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you must be the surgeon. So you can do orthopaedic surgery. Um, so hang on. It says two surgeons. Where's the other surgeon? I'm a bit confused. What's happening here? Or is it one of these? That's medical surgery. Oh, yeah, I've got the little sort of things above their heads. Oh, it's you. It's flying puffball, is it? Yeah, orthopedic surgery. And you are preparing for surgery, which is quite exciting. Um, I mean, could we... We have got another nighttime person here. Could we find that? Could we get somebody in to do some orthopedic surgery um, at nighttime? So maybe if we do have the capability to do operations at nighttime, they will go and do it. You don't have to do it, but if you can, you probably should do. I think that might be quite good. Let's get Jordan Wright. Although, hang on a minute, Jordan Wright's hiding terrible secrets from us. But he does have orthopaedic surgery up to 41%, which is good. We shall spend another thousand of our precious money on figuring out your things. Oh, and it's a good job we did. Because, um, yeah, he is also an alcoholic. <laughs> 
Now, you know, it's a serious thing and it's a, a terrible thing and you, know, you should get that sorted out. It's, you know, Jordan, go and please speak to people about this and get it sorted. But the last person you might want doing your orthopedic surgery is somebody who is possibly a bit hungover. That would be bad. I mean, it's a shame because scholar's good, good boss is good, but alcoholic and germaphobe aren't great. Jordan Baker is really far away. Patricia Hill just eats a lot of food, but she's quite good at diagnosis, which is not very useful for us. And Frank is pleasant, but depressed, and his hunger increases much faster. Again, these aren't great options. You know what? We're going to spend another two and a half grand on re-rolling that. Pick the ones with orthopedic surgery. Um, oh, dearie me. Right, okay, hang on then. Let's spend the money to reveal the perks. Okay, Frank Rodriguez is looking pretty good right now. 36% in orthopedic surgery. We've got hard worker, we've got loyal, and we've got comforting. Oh, okay, right, yes, you will do the job just fine. Yes, in you come Frank. So now we do have a team of people that can do that stuff at night time. Or do we need a surgery nurse? Let's get a surgery nurse as well. I need to remember who we've actually employed where. So hang on a minute. Who did we get? We've got, yeah, so Susan King and Frank Rodriguez, and then we'll get a nighttime nurse who can do surgery, so medical surgery. Um, who do we get here? Uh, ah, hang on a minute, hang on. You work much more efficiently during the night, but your medical surgery is only 17%. Yours is 43. You do get hungry quickly, but also you've got resistance, so rest levels in, uh, decrease lower. You don't take breaks. There is another secret there, however. Um, hang on. Oh, go on then, reveal the secret. Um, oh, and you're depressed. That's not ideal. Oh, this is really... We've got a very bad bunch here. This is not good. Um, okay, so you live far away and you work better at night. You're a people person and you're a germaphobe as well. And you've only got medical surgery of 17%. Hang on, who's the other medical surgeon around here? What's yours? 65%. <laughs> well, I suppose that might have increased because you have performed that task. I mean, we won't, we had nearly 30 grand. Okay, do you know what? This is the last time we're going to do this. We're going to re-roll this again and just hope this helps. Right, surgery nurse, please give us some good options. Um, okay, so, ah, hang on. All their perks are revealed. Aren't these the same people? These are the, these are the same people. Didn't we just re-roll that? Hang on, I'm fairly certain these... Oh no, don't tell me just re-rolled like the regular nurses or something. That'd be very unfortunate. Yeah, we've, we've, we've seen all these. Because all their skills are revealed. I think we might just re-roll the wrong thing. Okay, now this is the final time we're doing this. Okay. So, ah, here we go. 41%, 37%. Uh, you work better in the day, you have dirty feet, and you live far away. Oh, dearie me. Right, okay. <laughs> We're going to reveal the final things. Uh, are you any good? You're depressed, and you're a people person. Uh, you are a Spartan, you are a scholar, and you're unpleasant. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> this is This is awful. The range of options we're getting for this is absolutely terrible. I mean... Do we just do this one more time? Hang on, hang on. Um, Tremaine, let's have a look at you. You've got one, oh, you've got one hidden perk. So we don't know whether moving, we could move you, what I'm thinking is, move him to the night shift and then employ somebody else, whoever it was, into the day shift. So possibly this person here, Mary Allen. Although Mary Allen has dirty feet and she lives far away. Right, we're going to have one more roll of this. We're going to spend all of our money on sorting this out. It's making me sad, game. Uh, okay, find new candidates. Boom. Please give us somebody good. Please. Um, and we need to do another thousand to reveal their perks. Or do we? Hang on a second. Hang on. Nancy King, medical surgery, 37%. Hiding no secrets from us. And she's a hard worker. That's quite good. Susan Hernandez, medical surgery, 42%. Um, you do have a secret. Do you know what? It might be worth looking at that. Ah, there we go. It was worth looking at that because you're also an alcoholic. Um, we'll go for Nancy King. Finally, we've got somebody that can do medical surgery at night time. 
<laughs> and it only cost us almost $20,000 to sort that out. Well, isn't that a good use of our funds? Right. Okay. Now I think I know what we need to do. So hang on a minute. So it's Susan King. It is Frank Rodriguez. And it is, oh, Nancy King. Susan King and Nancy King. The King sisters have joined us. That's exciting. Um, so, yeah. Okay, right. So, three people, which means three spins on the Wheel of Names. Here we go. Okay, so the Wheel of Names has done its thing, which means we get to welcome the wonderfully named Matthias Bustamante to the orthopedics department. That is a very exciting name indeed. So, they join us as our nighttime anesthesiology doctor. And then also, we get to welcome Frank the Tea Tank, another very good name. They're joining us as our nighttime orthopedic surgeon. And then over here, we get to welcome the rather wonderful April Dunham, and they join us as our nighttime medical surgery nurse. So welcome aboard, new recruits. It's lovely to have you here. And if you would like to be on the Wheel of Names, and therefore be in with a chance of appearing in the series at some point in the future, then just leave a comment on this video. Just say, I'd like to be on the Wheel of Names, please. And if you want a preferred name, then tell me what you'd like. Otherwise, I'll just take your YouTube sort of username type thingamajig that pops up when you leave a comment. So that's how easy it is. A few people did ask on the previous video. So yeah, just leave a comment and say, can I please be on the Wheel of Names? And I'll add you one and then you might appear next time. You might not. A load of people did ask last time. I think it was maybe five or six people. So, you know, they're on the list. Maybe they will appear this time. Maybe they will not. Who knows? It's all down to the wonderful wheel of names. But there we go. So new people have joined us. So now maybe we should get through a few people at night time. And that might help with a bit of a backlog over here with our orthopedic ward. But let's see. Let's get time ticking on because, of course, we do want to get stuff sorted. So hang on. Move time on very quickly. We now don't have as much money as we once did have, which is a little bit of a shame. But if we can get one more surgery done, here we go. Here we go. A surgery is underway of whoever you are. Hang on a second. Uh, you are Margaret Jackson and you've, ah, you've got the broken jaw. You've got the mandibular fracture, which is a very exciting word. The word mandibular is good, isn't it? So there we go. There we go. That is complete. We've completed the objective for, who was it? Was it liver TY? Yeah. There we go. Liver T Y. So that's that done. Oh my goodness me. R hang on. Hang on. What? Hang on. Hang on. Pause time for a second. If we, their final objective for liver T Y, 11 out of uh, 11, reach prestige 95% at any specialized department. If we do that, they will give us $200,000. Is that correct? I'm trying to put the cursor into the right place to insert like an imaginary sort of, you know, comma to break that up. 200,000 in any specialized department. Oh my goodness me. I mean, the intensive care unit's doing a grand job. That's got five out of five stars. Oh, wow. Orthopedics is doing a pretty good job, but 95% is very, very high. Um, can we see what their prestige is by looking at something at departments? Can we see what the prestige is of the respective departments without... Yeah, with, by looking at this screen here. I don't know. Ah, here. Prestige. So, ah. But it doesn't tell us a number, necessarily. It doesn't tell us a number. It just gives us stars. Oh. Okay, so we might get that. Or we might not. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's not pin our hopes on that. Because that does seem quite hard to achieve. So I think our next big goal is to treat 80 patients in one day. And I think... Hang on, if we move time on again. We're on 49 right now. Um, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> that person's going to leave. That is precisely what we don't want to happen. Hang on. Right. Where are you? You are... Well, I'm hang on. I'm supposed to be taken to you. Ah, you're over here. Okay. So hang on. What is the problem? What is the problem? Um, trauma center hospitalization. Ah, right. Now, yes, a few people did point this out. Now, I kind of got this wrong in my head. I thought this was the um, the trauma center. No, that is the trauma center, I think. So they do need to go over here. Hang on. Hang on. This is where I'm getting confused. Um, yes, that is the trauma center. And I think we need to get another bed in there. So I think, yeah, it says a joint surgery arm. So she needs to have some arm surgery because she can't be treated over in orthopedics. It's a bit weird. I don't know why. Um, hang on. So what do they need over there? Require staff with skills. Orthopedic surgery, anesthesiology, orthopedics, medical surgery, medical surgery. And when we have got that, it says not available. Hospitalization required for the treatment is not available. Check free beds or try a higher... Pro oh, hang on. Can we just put her in HDU? Just put her in 
there. Just go, yeah, there you go. That, that'll sort you out. Hang around for a bit. Please don't leave. Um, but yeah, we do need to put some more some more beds over here. Well, not beds, so treatment beds. But um, apparently people come in here and just get stabilised. That's what happens. So they're in a terrible state, like this person over here. They've got an arm injury, hemorrhage, severe arm pain, dizziness, exposed bone, hypovolemic shock. So they've got their arm hanging off, effectively. Poor Charles Gonzalez. And um, yeah, he's kind of just hanging out here in the rain. <laughs> he's just, he's waiting in the rain next to the flashy lights Nino machine, the uh, lovely purple version. Um, and yeah, the, this bed is presumably used by somebody else. So we could do with getting another one of those in. I mean, if we were given $200,000, that would certainly help quite a lot. But hopefully that patient can go to a bed. But yeah, this was all expensive, wasn't it? It was all very expensive to get all these things in. It was all the additional machines and bits and bobs that made it quite costly. But I think perhaps we do need to get another one of those in. Because that was the original plan. We could possibly fit, say, four in there at one point. But, I mean, two would be a start. Um, okay. TC hospitalization. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on. Now, this is kind of where I got confused. So, trauma center hospitalization is... Hang on. So, where about to you? You are... Oh, you're the chappy outside on the bed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there is no free bed. But are they free? Uh, hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, they're free. But yeah, it's the bed in here that he needs. It's one of these in here. How expensive is it to get one of those in? Hang on. Go back to there. Click on that. So operating table. We need one of those for five grand. And then we would need the anesthetics thing for about three and a half grand. So what's that? Hang on. A massive penge. Five six, seven, eight and a half grand. And then we'd need, yeah, these things on the wall. So digital imaging, possibly. We'd need a lot more money than we have right now. So poor Chappie is going to have to wait for a while. I do apologise. I'm really sorry. At least it stopped raining. You know, every cloud and everything. <laughs> That's a good thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, can we get up to 80 people? No, we're only on... Ah, it must. Maybe they're going to send those people in on the next day. Because that hasn't gone up. I thought they were going to send more people to us, but that's not gone up at all. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. That's a bit unfortunate. I thought that was going to go up to 83, but it's not done so. That's a bit of a bother. Um, oh, crikey, what's going on here? Uh, fracture surgery, head. Okay, you've got a mandibular fracture, but you can't be treated. Why? Is it? Oh, there's an operation already underway, is <laughs> it? You, you'll have to wait. You'll have to join the queue. I don't quite know what you want me to do. The patient is getting ready to leave. I mean, can we can we code blue you and just make sure that you do go through? I mean, surely, you just hang around for a bit. Just wait. There's a team of very, very dedicated, very talented people waiting to help you. Oh, and she's just gone. Oh, okay, bye. Bye-bye then. Take your mandibular fracture somewhere else. That's not going to help with getting that goal sorted, is it? That's going to bring our prestige down a bit. But, um, I mean, traumatology is looking good. The traumatology department is looking very good. In fact, prestige overall today is 95%. Oh, but this isn't helping, is it? Frank. Frank Gonzalez, you've not been seen for a very long time. You've got bronchitis. Um, I mean, does that mean you can just go and get treated? What are you waiting for? Um, you're waiting to have... Are you waiting for an x-ray? Okay, can we push you through as a priority patient? Can we get you in here nice and quick? Because, yeah, there's somebody else in here. I mean, maybe we need another one of these. Maybe we need another x-ray room. Or we split that into two and try and fit two of those in. Because there is a bit of a queue over here. All these rooms here, not really in use, all the expensive ones. But the x-ray room is relatively expensive. Okay, hang on. Frank is... Right, Frank has been seen too. And now David Moore is getting all fussy because he needs to have an x-ray. Right, okay. Now I'm seeing that there is a problem with the x-rays. But at least we now do have people on the night shift able to help. But here we go. So, um, was it... Who was it? Who was complaining? Right, there we go. Um, we haven't got much money left now. But at least we do have a night team... Who can go and do this? Oh, Frank's decided to leave. This isn't going to be good. Ah, uh, <laughs> what is happening? TC hospitalization. Hang on. So that is trauma center. Right. 
Again, are you out? Yeah, you're out near the ambulance. Okay, right. We need that money. We need a big pile of money so we can put another one of these in here and employ some more doctors. And then at least people from the flashy lights need no machines can come inside. <laughs> can we put like a little gazebo out here? Can we put a little kind of waiting area? So you don't have to wait around in the road. You can go to the sort of, you know, the welcoming gazebo. Yeah, I mean, okay, you've got, what, a really horribly broken arm. You've got an open wound, severe pain, you're bleeding, exposed bone. Ugh, sounds awful. But if you go into our lovely welcoming gazebo, maybe it'll take your mind off it. We'll have some calming music. We'll have, I don't know, canapes, a range of drinks, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. It'll be lovely, it'll be fine. But instead, no, we can't do that. And you have to kind of stand out here in the road waiting to go into this room here. It's not ideal, is it? So hang on, we'll try and get that sorted as well when we have some more money, but we don't have enough money to kit that room out with lots of stuff yet. Hopefully you can be dealt with. You're waiting for a bed. Oh no, but where? <laughs> you need a bed over in orthopedics. So you need to go over to orthopedics. Um, I mean, there are, there are beds. Hang on. There are beds in orthopedics. Uh, hang on. Go to there. Yeah, there's one. There's a couple of beds. There are some beds. Take that person to orthopedics quickly. <laughs> and then person out here can actually come inside. They've been outside for a while without the welcoming gazebo, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. Yeah, if we could move you, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? TC hospitalization is, is a thing. But Charles Gonzalez is now... There's no bed. Because now you're waiting for high dependency. High dependency of... Well, can you not go in here? Hang on. Right. Somebody in the comments did say, can you move them to where they're going? Yeah, look. So can, hang on, hang on. Charles Gonzalez, can we please put you over into... I mean, can we put you in intensive care? Just so you have a bed? Let's put you in intensive care. Let's chuck you over into intensive care because nothing else happens in intensive care. So you might as well go somewhere. Can we please move this man? Because <laughs> poor James Jackson has been waiting outside for many hours. He's probably quite cold. He's a bit hungry, needs the loo. I imagine he's getting a little bit grumpy. So if we could move that person really urgently. Why are we not moving them? I don't understand. Please move them. I don't really get it. Oh my goodness, we completed it. We've just been given $200,000 because one of our departments reached 95% prestige. Oh my goodness me. Nationwide financial crisis causes 20% lower insurance payments. That's absolutely fine. And also topically correct. Um, oh, wow. Okay. We've got 207,900 monies. Do you know what? One thing we are going to do, and it's very boring, but we're going to pay back a bit of money to the bank. I know it's not exciting. We've got a big pile of money, but we're going to do a little bit of something sensible. We're going to pay back at least 20 grand. So now at the end of every day, we're only paying back $600 rather than 800. And then prior to that, it was a thousand, wasn't it? So that's quite good. I'm happy with that. I can't believe we've completed that objective. That's, that's going to open up so many things. I mean, do we get another ambulance to unlock what's behind this objective here because objective 10 might be i don't know perform five operations and get given 50 grand and that'd be quite nice um i mean i'm very tempted i'm very tempted however i think hang on what we could do with our money we could get another load of this all set up how about we go and do that that sounds wonderful hang on a second um let's go to here and go to the right department and um yeah can we get another one of these set up do we have to have that room split into several operating, several trauma centers? Or can we put many of these into one room? Or do they have to be four individual rooms zoned out? I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. So how about we pop this over? Well, let's put it into this corner, shall we? So let's put that as near to this corner as we can, because maybe we could get some more stuff in here. So if we pop that there, and then we need the anesthesia workstation to go there. Um, hang on, now there's a pointy arrow. What does the pointy arrow mean? Ah, medical light has to go uh, there. And then it needs, what else does it need? 
Is that it? Is it valid? I think that might be it. I think that's it. Um, I mean, there's digital imaging, which sort of seems like it should be a handy thing to have. If we put that there, that looks quite good. Um, and then what else do they need? I think that's it. There's a little... What's that? It's like a machine... Hang on. Rotate, rotate. There's a... I can't zoom in anymore. There's a, a laptop or something on there. What is that? A mobile workstation. It's not that. Is that that? Is it the fast USG? Uh, hang on. Rotate it round. Yeah, I think it's that. I think we might need one of those as well. So equipment table. Pop that there. And we'll have another fast USG. Hang on. Where is it? What, is what even is that? Special ultrasonography equipment for emergency and ICU usage. Okay, so if we put that there, that was quite expensive. That was eight grand. But now, if we then say, please move time on. Uh, oh, hang on. No, go back to here. So move time on. Can they now put him in there? Can they move him in? Uh, I was kind of hoping that they, there's a bed for him now. There is a bed. So I thought maybe they'd move him in. Ah, hang on. Oh no, he's going to leave. Are they moving him? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now I don't know whether this is working or not. I'm not really sure. So you're going over to... Oh, I see. Right, okay. So, oh, there's quite a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood there. There's not going to be much left in the person. Okay, so I see. They've moved him over here. So he's kind of out the way. Right. I mean, that, don't treat that as a bed. Um, although that does seem to be working, doesn't it? That does seem to be working. He's just over here chilling out now. So do we need... I, I mean, that's just a... Why don't they put him into here? There's a whole ward set up over here where that person could go. Is that where they're going to go right now? So transfer them onto that. Hang on, hang on. Right, move time on. And now they're going... They're going, they're going into intensive care because we did tell them to go to intensive care, didn't we? We did say put them into there. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Charles is fine. It's all good. And Chappy over here is having his arm sorted out. Right. Okay. So now, I mean, do we need two lots of doctors to do this? Do we need another set of doctors? Um, hang on. We do only have... Um, hang on. Pause time. Pause, pause, pause. We do only have one... Yeah, we've got intelligent cow working the night shift, but we've only got... Yeah, so hang on. In the day, we've got two people, but at night, we've only got one. Um, I mean, that is that okay? That seems fine, doesn't it? So in the day, we have, in terms of doctors, a canther oak moon, and we have a weha. So that's good. And then at night time, we have intelligent cow, and they're the doctors, and then... Ah, they're the anesthesiologists. That's quite handy. And then in the daytime for the nurses we have griff and show and then we have bad game of cat so maybe we do get another nighttime doctor and another nighttime nurse as well and they might be able to treat two people at once so one doctor and nurse combo can go to that table and one doctor and nurse combo can go to that one maybe that's what we have to do hang on uh oh there are many windows open all over the place but hang on let's hire a staff member so who did we click on this is for the doctor Okay, so doctor in Encore Room specialised in acute medicine. Okay, so these all look like pretty rubbishy candidates, to be honest. <laughs> oh, they're all really terrible. Um, okay, do we need an anesthesiologist? Um, hang on, these have got really high acute medicine. Well, that doesn't make any sense. The other one, if you click acute medicine, it doesn't... I oh, know, that was just doctor. That was regular doctor. Okay, hang on. So we want them maybe to do that. I don't, do we need them to be an anesthesiologist? It doesn't really say. It says they're specialised in acute medicine. So the higher the acute medicine, the better. Um, you've got clean feet, you have resistance, and you're a hard worker. You seem perfect. In you come, Thomas Smith. There we go. So you can join us. And then over here, the nurses. Uh, nurses and nurses station with qualification patient care. So which is that one? Clinical nurse specialist or just patient care? What if we put clinical nurse specialist and then pick somebody with high patient care? Uh, although you do have 63%. Oh no, but you've got dirty feet and you live very far away. We're not going to pick you. Um, you. You also live far away. You live far away. What if we pick these? 
secret, secret, secrets, and fresh parent, but you're not very good at the job. <laughs> oh, no. I know we've got some money, but I don't want to spend it all on, like, changing the staff potential around. Um, okay, let's, let's spend another two and a half grand just on these people here. So, clinical nurse specialist. I mean, that's okay, isn't it? Hang on. Can we go back to there? Has that refreshed all that as well? No. It just refreshed the clinical nurse specialist. Um, I mean, 35% and 46. Hang on. No, down here. 37%, 55%. You've got resistance. And let's spend another grand to figure out what the other thing is. And you're loyal. Oh, okay. Yeah, you seem good. Sarah Martinez, you can join the night shift. And then hopefully, yeah, we can treat two people at once. Uh, but of course, we're not going to keep Thomas Smith and we're not going to keep Sarah Martinez because we need to go over to the Wheel of Names and see who's joining us over here. OK, so courtesy of the Wheel of Names, we can welcome Chaz Myers to the hospital. Welcome, Chaz Myers. And we can welcome Orchid Grinder. Welcome, Orchid Grinder. So there we go. Two new people over here who can hopefully help out a bit with, you know, sort of maybe making sure that people aren't sat out in the rain quite so much because that's a little bit sad. So there we go. Let's move time on and see. Oh, no, because now there's only there's only one person over here and now they've been dealt with. OK, that's a bit of a shame, but OK, never mind. Never mind. At least that's kind of in now. So we've got two things in here which might help out a bit. I mean, do we need anything else? Do we need other things? I don't know. We'll see what happens with that room. We'll try and sort that out. Although, now we do have the chance to move it around a bit because nobody's here. So hang on. Although apparently that is in use. Apparently James Jackson is going to use it. Are you? You're hospitalised and you've been examined. Oh, you've been taken away to get an x-ray. But now you're going to come back. Oh, I see. Right, okay. No, that's fine. That's okay. You, you do that. You you go back and sort that out. It'll all be good. Right, we do have 167,206 money in the budget right now. Um, we do have a, you know, some goals to complete. Hang on. So we've completed all the objectives for Liver TY. That's now all done. So we can't get any more money out of them. And also, hang on, has their money thing come down? Did that use... Ah, no, hang on. It's 20% lower insurance payments there. That's fine. So everything is a little bit lower. So we don't get any more sort of rewards from them. But normally they pay 120% and they're sending 26 people our way and two ambulance patients per day, which is pretty good. But then I think if we do buy another ambulance, that means we complete objective nine out of 11 for cheapo care. And that only leaves us with 10 and 11 and as we've seen, the final one for Liver TY was really good. It gave us a huge big pile of cash. So maybe the final one for Cheapo Care is also very good. So I think maybe we get Cheapo Care as well. Although maybe that, I mean, we've got five people coming in via an ambulance. Sorry, via a flashy light to Nino machine uh, for the uninsured people. Two coming in from Liver TY. So another three, maybe five, six, seven, eight, ten people coming in via flashy lights and Eno machine. That could be quite tricky to deal with, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to clear that goal out of the way as well and see what's next. So we've got the money for it. We've got the money, so let's do it, shall we? I mean, it might cause carnage, but do you know what? That's fine. That's what we expect here in the Geekerwood. So here we go. Have one of the flashy lights and Eno machines. We've got that one and we've got a blue one. Um, How about a lovely, calming sort of lilac striped one? That's quite nice. I quite like that. So we'll park that up over there, look, next to the sort of magentary one. And there we go. We'll have another flashy lights Nino machine for just under $35,000. Right. So now that's that sorted. What is the next goal for these guys? Treat 30 patients per day at emergency. Absolutely the most straightforward thing in the world. We can do that very, very easily indeed. So that's no trouble at all. That increases clinic patients per day to 25 so we get 10 more people coming in and then we'd have the final objective from them. And then hopefully we can treat 80 patients per day to complete that goal there to get 50 grand. This is working very well. I mean, really, we need to spend some of this money on sorting our hospitalization over at Traumatology because that would also help quite a bit. That would be very good. Um, OK, right. However, there is something I remembered. Somebody said something. Hang on. Is it this wall here? A few people did say the wall between 
Is it these two things? I thought they said, hang on, maybe it's over here. It says something like the wall between, I thought it was between X-ray and something else is blank. Um, hang on. Which wall is blank? I'm fairly sure some people said a wall is blank. I thought it was between these, but it's not. Okay, hang on. I might need to go and revisit those comments because I'm not quite sure. Hang on. Let's put the walls up on high, shall we? So that one looks fine to me. And, ah, hang on. Yes, those interior walls there, they're blank. Oh, yeah. They've been like that for a long, long time. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let's go and sort that out. Walls and, yep, drop that one, please. And then just draw that on. Draw that like that. Draw that round there. And we'll do the same for there and round that corner. But then what's it like at the back? Oh, yeah, round the back is fine. Round the back is fine. There we go. That's what they meant. Thank you, commenting people. Keep the comments coming because they do help out quite a lot. And also a few people did say... Can we do something with the outside of the hospital? Particularly, we can do this big, long bit down here, look. Because that entire side is now all done. I mean, we could put a window in, actually. There's a bathroom there. We could pop a window into the bathroom. I'm not averse to that idea. Let a bit of fresh air in and such. That'd be okay. Hang on a minute. Window with blinds. Because that seems to be the common thing. Um, pop that there. That's okay. We don't have windows anywhere else, I don't think. Hang on. So put the walls back up. So... Um, yeah, we want... That's a cleaning room. That's got some windows in. The labs have got windows. That's nice. The waiting area's got windows. Now, hang on. That's a... What's that there? Cleaning cupboard? Well, that can have a window. A bit of natural light coming in. That's quite nice. That is... Uh, oh, that's like the cleaning admin office or something, isn't it? So they've got windows. That's got windows. They don't need windows. I don't think we should have windows in those sort of rooms with the big radiology kit in. Um, that's a lounge, that's got windows, corridor windows, and the ward does have windows because it'd be nice to let some light in, wouldn't it? So I think, do we get some walls in? And what I'm thinking is we go for geek cupboard corporate walls. I think we have to do that because it'll look really good. The only thing is it might take a while to get sorted. So I was thinking maybe do five blue and then five yellow like that and then just sort of alternate the outside <laughs> like this. Oh no, the only thing is, what if it doesn't get to five at the end? I have to bend it round the corner or something, but there we go, look. So we'll have, the outside of this is going to look amazing. Look at that. Oh, and then we could spend some of our money on putting decorative things outside because we do have the outside here and it's not really doing anything right now, which is a bit sad. So hang on, oh, we should have started around the door really, shouldn't we? Oh, maybe we should have done it four. Maybe it should have been four like that looks. So that can be four that side. And then one, two, three, yeah, yellow that side. Yeah, the doors are four, so it's going to look a bit weird if we don't do it like that. Hang on, right, let me go and redo this, because that's clearly gone a bit wrong. So hang on, let me just go and rejig. <laughs> let me go and rejig the walls, because this is really important. Because, you know, we've been given a massive pile of money. This is definitely the best use of our you know, lovely free cash. And there we go, it's all done. And that is the best investment of many thousands of pounds I could think of. That looks very good. Oh, yeah, we've got our little kind of um free bookshelf thing out here i completely forgot about that as well that wasn't always over there it was sort of over here once upon a time but you're going to rejig things why don't we add another bookshelf again another good use of the money we've been given hang on a second hang on um go to there um hang on objects isn't it i can't quite figure out where it is but we can just sort of click that can't we and just put some more bookshelves in there we go a splendid use of six hundred dollars there just shy of um oh hang on a minute hang on now there isn't one there. Kind of feel like there needs to be sort of three there and three there. So there we go. More free books for the good people of wherever we are in the world. So they can go and learn all about medical stuff. That's quite good. Okay, right. There we go. That looks wonderful. And eventually we will go and sort this out. But I mean, this bit here isn't quite complete just yet. That's not quite right. So we won't do that bit just yet. Um, I mean, over here we possibly could do, but we need that bit in first so we can carry on the pattern the walls going around so we can't quite do that yet but we'll get there in time it's all fine how are we over here oh look yes maybe we need more of these beds maybe we need another setup like that without that machine there i don't think we necessarily need one of those machines but i think possibly even another if we're getting more ambulances coming in maybe we do need more of these uh hang on hang on we can afford that now it's fine so let's go to the copy thing let us clone that bit. Oh, I was going to drag the walls in. Oh, no, it's not going to drag the walls in. Yay. So if we put 
another one there, like that, and they can... Oh, it did drag the wall in, but they can make use of the expensive machine in the middle. Hang on, let's delete that wall out the middle. No, I don't want to copy the walls game. So yeah, they can share that machine there. That could be quite handy. And that's another bed, or whatever it is, table for people to go and lie on. That one is still in use. It'd be good if it wasn't in use. But um, ah, it really is in use. There's somebody on it right now. James Jackson is still there. Okay, well, hang on. Can we move time on nice and quick? James Jackson, you've been taking up a lot of time. Another uh, flashy lights Nino machine is just headed off. So I imagine somebody else is going to be coming back over here. Um, okay, I think maybe as well, given the amount of blood that's over there, and here comes a flashy lights Nino machine. Who have we got? But Casey Allen, who's got... Um, a broken arm of some description. Um, Christopher Lopez, who are you? Whereabouts are you? Um, ah, you're waiting over here. Okay, so, oh, hang on a minute. You need to go into high dependency. Is high dependency full? It can't be full. Um, hang on. Rotate it round. Rotate it round. High dependency for orthopedics is completely full. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought that room was plenty big enough. But no, maybe we need to make it bigger. I mean, there's space to expand it. That's fine. We can just sort of move it on down here. I didn't think it would require expanding, but clearly it does. I mean, we could put another set of doors down here. I mean, do we just make it fill up that entire bit there? Uh, hang on. What did we do with the plans for the traumatology? Uh, no, no, that's fine. That doesn't interfere at all. So maybe... Maybe we do spend a chunk of money. I'm very tempted to just, now we've got the money, fill in the foundations. I'm very tempted to just go, do you know what? There's three and a half grand there. Fill that in. Um, we can't build there, can we? We can't build there. I would have built there otherwise. No, we can't build right to the edge. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then I'm tempted to get all of this in just because we've got the money. So we might as well do it now. Look and go, there you go, look, right, foundations, foundations. Yay, there we go, all the foundations. So then we could work on that at some point. Oh, hang on, I've missed a bit down the middle and a bit there, it seems. So that's all in. And then, yeah, we just, I don't know, expand this bit out like that for 5,810. I mean, I know, I know we've got a lot of money now, but that is a lot of cash. Um, and then we can expand that room and get some more beds and such in because that does seem to be really popular hang on pause time we've got yeah five people are in there and we've got more people coming in with various injured arms and legs and breaks and fractures and things although i do note that at night time this is not doing anything so maybe they don't do surgery at night time i can see you playing solitaire <laughs> go and do some surgery please um okay i think then Let's sort this out over here. Who thought this one department would be so demanding? I thought it was going to be a nice, easy one. Um, right, so first things first, floors. Drop of the floors. Put that going all the way down to there. That also does give us a chance to sort the flooring out for here. Hang on. So drop her that floor and just drag that out to there. That's fine. That is, um, I mean, where is that going to go that is radiology's corridor isn't it hang on a second let's extend that out up to there and then we need to go to hang on a minute orthopedics then we go to high dependency and we drag that out all the way across there i didn't think this would be that popular it wasn't that popular before maybe this is that's where the ambulances are coming in the ambulances the flashy lights needle machines are sending people into here because they're really injured and they you know, need high dependency stuff. And then we get ourselves some wall demolishing stuff first. So take these walls down. So remove that and remove that. Then we want to drop a that wall. Just bring that across like that. Uh, ah, we can get rid of that bit because then that can connect up, which is nice. Get the floor sorted, so drop of that bit, draw that on. Oh, hang on. There's a corridor that needs extending as well. Hang on a second. Orthopedics corridor. That can come down to there. Right, and then that wall needs going in. And then we just clone a few of these. We'll put some doors at the end as well, I think. But we'll just clone a few of the beds. Maybe three. 
that should do the job, I think, for now, anyway. Um, but yeah, we need a wall. That would that would certainly help. Hang on, so wall, and grab that one, and bring that across like that, and then we'll get a set of doors. Which which ones are they? Are they regular doors? Are they those ones with oval windows? I think it might just be those ones, possibly, but with the sort of orangey colour on them. Yeah, it's those ones. Okay, so then put that at that end. Um, oh, then we need to do... Hang on. Then we need to... I thought I'd just done... Hang on. I thought I'd done the walls. <laughs> what did I do? Um, okay, well, there we go. Oh, no, I did the other side, didn't I? Right, so like that. So that's the corridor sorted. And then, ah, yeah, I've forgotten to do these bits over here. Hang on a second. Right, drag that down like that. Rotatey, rotatey. Do that bit like that. So that should all be fine. That should look good if we put the walls up. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then, yeah, drop them back down. And then, yeah, just grab a few of these beds. Just copy two possibly, to save a bit of money. I know we do have some money, but I don't want to spend it all. So one and two. That's 11 grand. Just gone, just then. Right, but Chappy over here can now go into a bed. So he can now stop complaining because there is a place for him to go. So yes, he's waiting for transport to a bed. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Good grief, this is very busy. Um, oh, and Dusty Rivers finished his training. Oh, well done. Do you know what? Go and do some more training. That's what you're going to do for the next goodness knows how many days to make you like a super doctor. But there we go. Oh, why are you running? Why are you running so dramatically? Uh, oh, okay. I think we're sprinting to save somebody. But no, you're just running to really quickly get a stretcher. Uh, I imagine they're going down here, are they? Oh, this place... <laughs> This place is so full. There are many people in here. Hang on. Maybe we need... Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. Hang on a minute. Maybe we need yet another one of those over here. Oh, this room is going to be so super busy. Hang on a minute. This is like a proper crazy room of many people in here all being very unwell. Oh, here come... <laughs> right. Hang on a second. Hang on. I'm going to get you another bed in here. Please hold the line. Um, Hang on a minute. Go to here. And we shall have... Um, Yeah. That. Just copy that. We can put that. It's going to be expensive. We'll put a... I think we'll put a gap in between. Although, why is... There's something red there. Why is there something red? Is that just light? Or is that saying that's not going to work? I'm not sure. Pop that down for now. Um, I know it looks fine. It looks okay. It should be okay. Right, okay. <laughs> so now they can at least come in. You guys can come in. Oh, you've got a horribly broken leg. Okay. <laughs> right. This room is is really busy and also really full of blood. Hang on a minute. Have we got another janitor? Can we have another nighttime janitor, please? Because <laughs> that room is very unpleasant. Hang on a minute. Go back to here. Um, who do we have? We've only got one person. We've got Shave Kromakasa, who is cleaning. I imagine they're trying to do their best. But I think maybe we do need another person. So hang on a second. Let's get another nighttime cleaning person over here in emergency because that room is particularly grim i think you can assign them to particular rooms as well so maybe if we could figure that out we could have them focus on that room first before any of the others but um yeah here we go let's get somebody in um christopher thomas oh no you you uh, yeah, get hungry quickly and you live far away david jackson does have a particularly good trait but he's terrible at the job oh these are all pretty rubbishy aren't they um, oh, I don't want to spend... We had over 200 grand not too long ago. Hang on, let's find some new candidates. Can we get good people, please? Um, wow. No, we really can't. So you're going to be eating a lot more often. And you do have a hidden perk as well. Okay, we're going to roll the dice one last time. Another two and a half grand. Please give us somebody decent. Um, okay, you're not so bad and you're quite good. So now we need to do your perks. So you are a slow learner. That's fine. That's okay. Spartan needs a reduced slower. And a chemist. You can clean floors much faster. <laughs> and you're called William Williams. That's brilliant. Uh, Daniel Hall is a scholar, is depressed, and is loyal. Come and have a chat, Daniel Hall. We'll have a nice talk. Uh, Michael Taylor isn't that good. He works well at night. But I think, yeah, let's get William Williams in. You're not going to stay as William Williams. But yeah, we'll get you in on the night shift. And then, yeah, can we figure out 
how we tell you to work ah, assigned rooms. Yeah, there we go. So you work in the trauma center. And then other places as well. You can do other stuff as well, but I'd like you to kind of focus more on the trauma center. But yeah, you can sort of keep control of this bit over here, maybe. And then somebody else can do the other stuff. But yeah, it's it's getting a bit of a bloodbath in there. So if we could <laughs> if we could do something about that room, that'd be quite nice. I kind of feel like we need another one of those over in this corner. We need another one of those. Because that it's not going to get any better, is it? Hang on a second. Oh, we're burning through our money. Uh, let's get that like that and rotate it around and pop that into... Um, I mean, can they go right in the corner? Didn't know that was valid. I don't think that would be a valid thing. Apparently it seems fine. I'm, uh, yeah, okay. No, it, it can't go in the corner, everybody. <laughs> the game duped us a bit there. Uh, move those things, just over one. Um, still not happy. Uh, oh, because it, oh, it copied the wall. Of course it did. <laughs> no, 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 no. No wall game. Get rid of the wall. There we go. So another bed in there as well. However, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Where's William Williams? William Williams is a very good name, but you're not going to stay with that name for long because we're going to go and change it with the Wheel of Names. And the Wheel of Names has landed on Azra Qureshi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it looks about right. So Azra Qureshi, you have a very, very important job. Can you please get cleaning as soon as possible? I think that is you there, isn't it? So let's follow you just to make sure that you do actually go and clean what we need you to clean. So hang on a minute. Move time on very quickly. Ignore all of this stuff straight into here. Monitor patient is collapsing. Okay. David Young is, is not well. Right, hang on. Where is David Young? David Young, where are you? Oh, you're the one with the sad face. <laughs> right. Okay. They're going to try their best to stabilize him. Uh, they Keep them alive. Oh, my goodness me. Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> They've got Azra Koresh in the background, just casually just doing a spot of cleaning. Does anybody want to, like, jump into action here? They're going into hypovolemic shock. Oh, there you go. Somebody did run in. Riley Gray ran in to do some first aid. Okay, that's very good. Good job. Um, are they okay? Yeah, they're stable. I think they're stable. I don't think they're going to die anymore. Well, that was a little bit of an emergency, wasn't it? Um, yeah, what's that? Hypovolemic shock is a life-threatening condition due to blood pressure being too low to sustain sufficient blood flow. Okay, so the blood pressure isn't enough to push the blood around the body. Right, so they are trying to sort that out. They're in for an x-ray. Um, I mean, is there a queue for x-rays? We need another x-ray machine, don't we? This is going to be busy now. It's going to be really busy, but okay, right. We'll try and figure out how we can do that. And then, of course, we've got all this over here as well. We need to sort of do some work on this, putting in corridors and rooms and doors. You can see where the rooms and the corridors are going to go. So all that needs to go in as well. But then if we do that, that completes that goal down there. And we start moving down this route here. So maybe objective three might be something really good. Because 10 grand is neither here nor there. But could we do this? Could we treat 80 patients per day? Let's maybe move time on very quickly and we'll see what we can do. Because we don't seem to have that much money anymore. We did <laughs> we did have a huge pile of money and it sort of all vanished. Oh my goodness me. Judy Clark, um, you are bed required for treatment, joint surgery leg. Um, I mean, well, yeah, hang on. Skip after waiting for too long, waiting for surgical team. Um, I know the surgical team do do stuff at night then. They do operate at night. Oh, okay, that's quite good. That's a good thing. I think you're just maybe, are you being impatient? I mean, you have to wait a bit. They're very, there's only one set of surgical people. Uh, yeah, a few people in the comments have said we need to get a general surgery department in quite quickly. That would help quite a lot. So maybe once all that's in and we have this all set up and running, so a full traumatology department up and running properly, maybe then we could go for general surgery. That does seem like a good sort of generic thing. Um, hang on a minute. You need a bed. Um, oh, hang on. Where are you? Hospitalised. I find this very confusing. The terminology is all a bit weird. Where are you? Well, you're in here already. You're fine. Oh, where? David Young. <laughs> There's t you need an x-ray of a lower limb. But they, oh no. Right. Okay. We need another x-ray machine. This, this one here is not enough. It's just too, it's too busy. 
Jordan Wright is in there. Um, I mean, it's the problem. It can't be a lack of beds because there's loads of beds over there. So what is the problem exactly? I don't quite understand. Active treatments and hemorrhages and TC Hospital Trauma Centre accepts ill patients. Required room, trauma centre. Well, that's where they are. X-ray upper limb. Scheduled waiting for a free examination room. That is the problem. Um, okay, well, you're going to have to wait for a while, I'm afraid. You need to wait until somebody can do an X-ray. I don't know where we can put another X-ray unless we can split that room up dramatically and make it very small. Um, I mean, where could it fit? Where could it fit? Would we put another one over here? Could we cram another one into there? It looks too big. It looks way too big to have an X-ray room over here. Unless we chop that bit off and have one there. Oh, now Judy Brown's collapsed. <laughs> Judy Brown, no. Okay, hang on a minute. Judy Brown isn't well. Can somebody come and speak to... Well, maybe not speak to. Um, Judy Brown, collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. <laughs> could, could somebody please go and see her? Nobody's bothered. Collapsed patient is being transported to another hospital. Oh, I think somebody was on their way. A canthrope moon was, was going to do some stabilisation or something, but... No. Okay, fine. Uh, you can clear off and go somewhere else. Ooh, a fancy ambulance. Um, okay, this is all getting very complicated. I don't quite know who needs what and where and how, but it seems that we're muddling through. So 27 treated patients. We need 30 per day at emergency. I think we should be able to get that done. We should be able to get that done. And then we can see what the final objective is for cheapo care. But if we get 80 done in one day as well, that would be really good. So let's run time on. Nice and quick. It's already, what, about lunchtime? And we're about halfway there through the number of patients we need to treat. So maybe by the end of the day, that'll be at 80. And we can get given a big pile of money that no doubt we can fritter away on various pointless bits and bobs. But yeah, at least we'll have the money to fritter away. And um, yeah, maybe we do need to invest it in an x-ray machine because yes, one does not seem to be enough. Okay, there we go. We've treated 30 patients in one day at emergency. So now they're going to send an extra few people away. So that was 10 extra people, wasn't it? That's very good. Let's have a look at what the final goal is here. So reach 90% prestige at the end of the day at emergency. And then we get given $100,000. And if we can get to 80 patients treated, we're going to get the 50 grand. We're on 54 right now. So we're sort of making slow but steady progress toward it. It looks like we need even more beds over in the high dependency unit in orthopaedics. Oh my goodness me. That's that's many beds in there. Um, Okay, we can drag another few in, I suppose. Just sort of copy a few. We'll go down this way. We've got room. We've got room for, what, at least another what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe beds. So we can add at least another few. And it'll cost us a bit of money, but that's okay. At least Christopher Baker can then go and have a lovely bed. So hang on a second, go back to building mode. <laughs> it's become very demanding all of a sudden. It's become very demanding. Okay, right, hang on. So, um, yep, yeah, drop a bed in, drop a bed in. I mean, do you know what? Whilst we're here, let's just put four extra beds in. At great expense, but that's fine because, you know, we're doing this for the people out there. So there we go. Christopher Baker can then come in and have one of these empty beds. I assume we'll see him coming in at some point. There we go. Two people have come straight in. Two people have come in already. It's a good job we didn't build just one bed. Oh my goodness me. Right. Okay. Move time on until morning. Um, Peter King is being impatient. Yeah, that's for the x-rays. We need to sort that out at some point. Um, we're on 70 people that we've treated. We could potentially get to 80. We could get to 80 because we do have the doctor. Yeah, they're all open overnight. Like There are some doctors in. But, I mean, yeah, we've got a few hours left and we need to do another eight people. So maybe we're not going to get that done. John Scott's getting a bit impatient. Sorry, John Scott. Stick around and wait. All the beds are full. <laughs> Peter Kitt. Oh, this is getting all a bit daft, isn't it? Good grief. Um, is that because there's already there's already someone being operated on? Peter King, just wait and we'll sort it out. Um, bed requ oh, This is all getting a bit too clicky, isn't it? It's a click, 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 click. Um, what do you need? A regular hospitalisation in a regular ward. What does that mean, though? I mean, can you go over here? There's beds there. That's a ward. But is it just a regular ward? Is it full over here as well? 
Oh, crikey, that's full over there. Uh, okay, right, we'll copy one of these beds. We'll just see if we can get this sorted. So hang on a minute, let's go to here and we'll copy that because hopefully that doesn't come with a free piece of wall and we'll pop that there for 3,000 money, another three grand. So maybe that can keep you happy. Elizabeth Thomas needs a bit. Well, you're going to have to... Oh, this is all gay. Ah, oh, there's too much clicking happening. <laughs> is this because we bought in many flashy lights and Nino machines? Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep pressing OK and hope that everything goes away and it's all fine. Um, yeah, Peter King's leaving because he's impatient. We would have seen you, Peter King, but our hospital people were very, very busy. Um, I mean, yeah, that's... There is still an empty bed over here. I don't know why that bed isn't in use. Because we built it for somebody to go and, you know, sit in. But nobody's there. Okay, fine. We'll see what happens with that. Um, that's the x-ray machine. Yeah, we need to get another x-ray thing in. Because now that is incredibly busy. Although it doesn't look like anything's happening with it right now. Ah, they're bringing somebody in. Um, oh. Uh, okay, we've completed that objective. Hooray, we did it. Emergency was at 90% prestige. We've been given 100 grand. Ah, there we go. Okay. So two insurance companies now have all their goals completed. We didn't quite get to 80 patients per day, but now look, 98 patients are going to come in and we need to treat 80 of them, which is about 80% maths with penge there, but that should be okay. So I think we'll finish up for now. Next time when we come back, we'll go and sort out hospitalization over at Traumatology. We'll go and get all that set up with all the different buildings and everything else, all the different rooms even. Where is it? That one there. So we're going to have ourselves a burn unit and a diagnostic unit and high dependency and all that kind of stuff. That can go over here. Although, although now we know that that high dependency unit there is completely massive and keeps growing. I mean, can you put them into any high dependency thing? If somebody needed orthopedics, high dependency, but it's full, can we just chuck them into this one and vice versa? Can they share it? I'm not entirely sure. So maybe that does need to be a bit bigger. Maybe we need to think about possibly putting that over there and having that as a shared doctor, nurse room or something. I don't know, but we'll ponder that next time. We'll see what we can do with that next time. Maybe sort of rejig that to make it slightly bigger because that one there is quite big. And it's possibly not big enough. So that one there is going to be nowhere near big enough if it has the same demand as that. But we'll look at that next time and see what we can do. And then, um, yeah, we've got 125 grand to play with. So we should be able to get that all done. So we'll see if we can get that up and running next time. And then we'll just try and work our way through some of the other goals. And then I think, really, we're running out of room on the ground floor. We've got a little bit just there to sort of build on. And then we've got a bit over here to build on. And then that's it. Then we need to start thinking about going up a floor and working our way over here. Although why there's a big open bit just there, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> hang on, have I missed a bit of, uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, there's a big hole in the hospital. Hang on, let me fix that before we go because I'll forget otherwise. Um, yeah, I think there's supposed to be some uh, foundation there. Yeah, there we go. Can we go up and check? Yay, there we go. No big hole in the hospital. Wonderful. So uh, yeah, we'll come back, do all that kind of stuff and see how we get on. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very wonderful indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Project Hospital. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.